We are at distress, we need immediate assistance. Only by, you know, manually, physically, may God never let this thing happen to you guys. What's up guys, hope you're doing absolutely fine and today is going to be an informative video because life at sea can be really risky, there could be a fire, there could be uh, the ship sinking, so what we can do if something like that happens. So I'm going to especially be talking about lifeboats, I will go inside there, show you all the equipments we have for survival, you're going to find there's something new, informative, completely out of the ordinary and just stay tuned, let's see out. Before we enter, I want to tell you we've got two lifeboats, each side port and starboard side. Each can carry a capacity of uh, 38 people. So we are totally 24 on board right now. So if there's fire on one side, all of us can come on the other uh, on uh, one side and then disembark with the lifeboat. So uh, that's as per the SOLAS regulation, which is safety of life at sea. And uh, yeah, let's go inside now. Before we go, uh, we also have two life rafts, which you can see over here, up and down. And each have a capacity of 20 persons as you can see so uh, 20 and 20 40 so let's go since safety is so important i'm going to be putting these uh, hooks which are known as the fall preventive devices onto these hooks so that uh, it does not accidentally release and i go down so safety first always So both the fall preventive devices are on in forward and aft and now I'm going to show you around. So you can see these are uh, the seat belts and it's a must to wear the seat belts because you've seen in my videos when we go down the boat once it launches from the David it starts shaking like hell. So there have been uh, fatalities while people have not worn the life uh, the safety belt and you know from the bump you can hit your uh, head here or you can see it's not so uh, not so high so that's a must uh, talking about that we've got this rubber matting over here which is uh, so that your head does head doesn't bump behind i'll just show you who has sit here and then there's this uh, rubber cushioning not the fiber which uh, which can you know cause damage to your head so each person is assigned a particular boat as per the muster list and we go according to the muster list to the respective boats port or starboard I am the in charge of starboard side lifeboat and uh, we are inside the starboard side lifeboat. So this is my space. <laughs> I hope I never come here guys. To be honest, uh, this would be the worst thing which can happen. But yeah, we are at the mercy of the nature. Anything can happen. So I must be wondering when we are inside, we need something to drink and eat. So first we talk about the ration. As per regulation, we carry three liters of water for each person. And they are inside these boxes. I can show you how it looks. Just a second. Okay, that's how packet water inside the lifeboat looks and 3 litres each person. This is 500 ml capacity and we've got all these boxes over here. Then we have this uh, food which uh, is again by 7 ocean. As per requirements, 10,000 kilojoules for each person and this is like a biscuit, uh, like protein biscuit or uh, you must have seen a, a granola bar or something like that. So this is it. and. We have all of them stored here. So 38 of them as per inventory. We ch keep checking the expiry dates and the condition so that it doesn't go bad and there's no fungus and also that's why it is all airtight. So uh, nothing can penetrate. It's for emergency guys. Then we have a powder extinguisher, 12 kilos, which are which are my babies as a third officer. I'm in charge for the firefighting, so I have to uh, keep checking them every month. Then uh, we've got some boxes over here, which I'll open up and show you. Let's open uh, what's inside here. Then uh, we've got these uh, TPA, so known as a thermal protective aid, which is basically uh, 
thermal protector that means protecting protecting you from the cold so uh, we've got four of these then we have some flashlights with some spare batteries a whistle which we can blow at night it's a bit dirty so i don't want to then this is really important this is a signaling mirror so in case there's sunlight and you can you know use you must have seen in movies you know uh, it's the old kind of method to signal to take the reflection of the sun and then show it to a uh, to the bridge of a ship and hence grabbing attention so that's it these are last minute resort guys we got some pyrotechnic this is a rocket parachute that's that that means at night if uh, we want to signal a ship which is close by what we do is we open this open the strings and then launch it so it will shoot a uh rocket with a red flare so someone knows that we are in distress at night red fluorescent red is the distress uh, signal at sea general and in the morning time it is the buoyant smoke signal which is which produces an orange smoke anything orange at sea means we are at distress we need immediate assistance then guys we have this uh, list of signals as you can see these are all the hand signals and uh, you know light signals which we can uh, use you see you can see life saving life saving signals and uh, rescue methods so this is an important thing that's the uh, smoke signal so uh, we just open it and then it uh, there's a small thread which we pull so day time we use this night time we use these two this is a normal hand flare which can be used so uh, so we just open the clip and then there's a direction you can see so we just open and pull the thread and it start inflating but make sure you are away from the flare and not like this and you just open this and go on face is burnt or really this as per solas pack a there are two types of packs pack a pack b and uh, as per solas we are required to carry six yeah six hand flares four uh, rocket shoots and two uh, smoke signals these were the two big boxes then we got a bucket in which we have this uh, cup kind of thing to take out water then we have some tools these are the some some of the tools which can be used for them some spanners and screw drivers and then uh, uh, small small uh, measuring buckets yeah yeah guys all of this can come in handy uh, if you are at sea for long time in the life boat so then uh, you can collect water rain water in this and many things so uh, then guys we have this radar reflector so it's designed it's designed in such a way that uh, the radar of a ship can catch the reflections from this so you can see uh, many it's got many sights and uh, yeah this is a lanyard uh, suppose uh, suppose you are in the boat and someone jumps off the ship because there is no time so to uh, you know bring him close to the boat you can throw this and then he can uh, hold this and there is the rope so uh, you can pull him towards you and uh, also with, this is known as a sea anchor okay, okay guys uh, it's a bit messy but this is the rope inside and uh, this is like a it's it's like a you know a cup what it does is uh, when you go when you put it inside water you are moving forward so the water starts accumulating inside this and you know it causes a drag so it does not stop exactly but uh, it uh, reduces your speed so guys uh, there's a painter which i have shown you uh, in one of the earlier videos but i'll show you anyway so we can release it from here manually and there's a kind of a lever over here which we can rotate and then uh, it will release the painter from the forward and uh, yeah there is some instructions locking board this is for the hooks so uh, just in case we can you know go up here and i'll show you how it looks green and uh, if it it's if it is uh, in case it is it's in the red part so you you know uh, it's dangerous so yeah okay that's from the forward section area and uh, we'll go in the aft now so guys now we are in the aft and you can see there are paddle uh, oars just in case we lose propulsion so we can use manually by you know manually physically doing all that and then we've got this lever uh not a lever exactly it's a uh, uh, 
safety fastener key it's a key so this is for the fuel tanks which we have this is inside the that's the engine of the lifeboat and uh, they've you got some battery uh, you've got two batteries which we can switch from here one and two and that's a bilge pump basically bilge pump means if there's extra water accumulating uh, suppose there is a leak inside the lifeboat so we need to drain water so that's a pump which we have which we can operate and it's going inside there there's a pipe there so we just switch it on and then uh, it uh, throws off water from the lifeboat okay guys uh, so let's go on top and i'll show you here what all we have so that's the normal steering wheel these are the start stop switches this is for the battery to switch it on and then that's the uh, uh, ignition and then we've got some lights like you can see these canopy lights in the forward also and there's a uh, one light which is on top so uh, it that's a normal signal that there's a boat in the water at night you know it's a white light and we've got instructions written all over for launching then uh, this is the gear so we can move forward to move forward <laughs> and put it back to move astern and then we have something known as uh, so so suppose yeah we are inside the water then what we have to do is we have to release the hooks so this is the lever which uh, we have to first take out the spin and then pull it so the hooks hooks will be released and then we are free from the uh, david and then we move out of the uh, out, out from the ship if it these are uh, emergency tillers which we can connect here now you can see emergency tiller and you know manually move the rudder in case we have a steering failure from the hand wheel then we have to do it manually like a uh, like those paddle boats in the lakes you know how they move right <laughs> you must have done fishing not fishing but boating in a uh, big pond or something like Talk about being self reliant during emergency we've got this uh, plug from which we can uh, generate our own rain water suppose there is a uh, rain and then we can use the bucket which i showed you also we've got fishing tackles which we can use to fish for in case the food runs out you never know you you're in the middle of pacific ocean it might take uh, the other ship to reach maybe 10 15 days you seen must have seen the movie uh, unbroken and all of that so things like that do happen guys still things like that do happen it's a big ocean anything can happen so well that was mostly whatever we have inside the boats and we are regularly inspecting it everything is in place in good order with no expired stuff and uh, yeah uh, let me know in the comment section if i have missed out something and you want to know more about it, then i'll make a video on that for now we'll go out and i'll show you what all arrangements we have to release it before that we can release the boat from the inside from this lowering wire which i need to pull and you must have seen in one of the videos when i went inside the boat to test it but that was the gopro hero 9 unboxing video yes now i remember so you can just pull it and uh, we go down so let's go out and i'll show you more about it. then we have this uh, david lassings which are running both for uh, forward and aft and that's the uh, live boat and i was talking about uh, those are the hooks forward and aft and those are the boat lashings and then you can see this uh, small rope running that's the uh, painter line which i showed you to release from the lever that's the uh, rope which can be released and uh, then we have some window wipers also solar reflective tapes so guys for launching the life raft we just need to unclip this and this is the painter which we secured onto a strong point on the ship and then just push the life raft and also we have this hru which is known as the hydrostatic release unit so uh, it, it has particular mechanism when the ship sinks around 4 meters this automatically has a small knife inside which can cut the lashings and then the boat can be free uh, also we've got uh, life boys which are placed regularly on the ship so in case i fall down so uh, if if my luck is good someone will see me and throw the life boy i hope uh, nothing like this happens ever Okay guys, uh, once that is done, uh, we can release the boat from here in two ways. As you can see, there is a red painted uh, uh, lever kind of thing which we can put put up. That's like a brake, and then uh, we can launch it. And the third one is uh, here, and this we can just pull, and the boat will be released. Also, if you can see behind me, this is known as an embarkation ladder. So what you can do is. Uh, 
Uh, suppose the free board is too much, so we need to uh, we don't want to jump and break our board. So uh, we can release this and climb down to the boards respectively, as well as the life rafts. So that's the ladder. So guys, that was more or less about the life boards, and I hope there is never a situation where we have to use them. But it's always better to be prepared and know about the boat before embarking it because at the end uh, that that will be handy and that can save your life actually and uh, yeah like, like i said we are at the mercy of nature anything can happen anything can go wrong this is a metal uh, box which uh, can penetrate and then water can flood in things like that have happened in the past till date uh, yeah fire can happen we have to abandon the ship so uh, safety first always that's why i keep emphasizing on that guys survival tip 101 if there's an emergency do not panic panic does not lead to anything it causes more chaos you tend to forget the important things and uh, that's what we have learned and we have been trained for and uh, in the beginning you don't need to drink water for 24 hours and then rationing it the key is rationing if you just drink everything in one day i know you'll be thirsty you'll be hungry but that's how the survival uh, thing is you have to ration it it should last as long as possible because as i told you help can come maybe in one day maybe in uh, 10 days maybe in 30 days anything can happen it's a big sea out here helicopters cannot come in uh, you know uh, midway of the ocean they don't have enough fuel capacity and yeah rationing no panic help will be on its way just do the procedure which you are trained for and uh, rest everything should follow god should help you may god never let this thing happen to you guys so if you guys found this video informative and got something new from this do give it a big thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you back from another day at sea